I would like. You're not alone, dude. I think it's a lot of people. Yeah. So uh, like, like when I start to look at it, I go, Jesus, it's so much worse than I thought. It is. It's also, I mean, one thing Biden could be good at hopefully is getting free health, not free health care, but yeah, health care would be pretty good. I think okay, well, and now I don't know the ins and outs. So every time you, I bring that's that already, up, that's already off the table for some time. You're aware of that, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't think that would be like you get in office and get that if done. He came out now and said that he goes, "Oh, we're going to have Medicare for all." He could win if he came out tomorrow and just said that he would win. If he yeah. just said, or this is Jimmy Dore said first, but he's right. If he said, "Hey, we're going to legalize marijuana at the federal level and release anybody who's got a charge related to marijuana," he wins. He's better than Trump. That's all he's got to do. Ne- yeah. He's never going to do that. He's never going to do that. He's going to be worse. <laughs> and, and so people that don't get this, they're only focused on Trump is bad. Okay. Why is your candidate good? Did you give any thought to that? They're like, well, he used to hang out with Obama. So maybe some black rubbed off on him. <laughs> <laughs> they all say the same thing. I just want to feel normal again. That's the, every, all, everyone. It always boils down to like a return to normalcy. It probably shouldn't return to normalcy. I, I know, like, what people, it's usually rich, rich fucking comedy actor friends who, who say this shit of just wanting to feel normal. If life was good for you, motherfucker, it hadn't been that way for a whole bunch of people and not just yeah. the black people. And you're going to be surprised how many black people don't go with you. Even with the threat of not being black anymore, <laughs> you're going to yeah. be fucking surprised. I mean, these people are going to be blown away. I, I don't know how, honestly... I think I'd be relieved if Trump lost because it means there won't be that there won't be like huge riots because if if uh, Trump wins, there's going to be massive. Riots. They're already setting it up for that. Now, there's going to be massive riots if Trump wins. I promise you're not going to see. It. Yeah, yeah, it's going to not going to see it on by on if Biden wins, because the people that vote and shit that want, they have property, they don't want to destroy property. All the people that are like, oh, the looting's okay. and but Oh, put that, dude, the CNN picture. This blows my mind. This is like, I, I can pinpoint. Oh, uh, I know what this one is. Yeah. Do you put that picture up, Bobby, of uh, the fiery the fucking riots? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's it's yeah. so crazy. The thing is, though, also, if, if Trump does lose, I wonder if there could be a, a, a burst of right-wing shootings. There will not be a burst of right wing shit. That's all nonsense. No, 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 no. I just mean like a couple of autistic, autistic dudes getting a little rowdy. Uh, uh, lone. I don't you, mean like a lone spree mass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooting. I'm not. Ta- that's gonna yeah. happen. That's that's definitely gonna happen. That's, I do that's believe regardless those are gonna of Trump or not. Regardless. That's just gonna. Yeah, that's a tradition. That's right, an American fair. tradition. Fair. Uh, put up. Yeah. No, you can always expect that. What are you, what are you crazy? And by the way, it's gonna be more more likely now because. Good luck with any gun control shit at this point. Yeah. And so I talked to somebody from this One Million Moms group on uh, Gnome's podcast. She was nice. They just want like reasonable kind of controls. You know, th- this, this shit didn't sound radical to me. It sounded like the kind of shit of like the clip size and all, you know, all the, I don't know that those things even work, but it didn't sound like a Obama wants to steal your guns group. But even yeah. so, I was like, how are you even still trying to sell this? That's done. Yeah. People bought so many guns, there's an ammo shortage. Are you fucking crazy? Can fact, can I'm for 17 all... year olds can 17 year olds have assault rifles? Sure. An assault rifle is a silly thing. Like they're all just rifles. A rifle. Like that's all nonsense. But anyway, I'm for now I'm for all of that. I, I don't know. You don't know if there's gonna be police to protect you or not. You better have a gun. What, like, yeah. what do you think's gonna happen? When the when in these cities that you and I live <laughs> yeah, in man. when the people that are at the moment just like kind of gang and personal shit. What do you think is going to happen when it dawns on them that they can, people that are like, we're only held in check by police. It's going to be fucking crazy. That's how we got like the Dirty Harry movies and shit was because 60s bullshit uh, liberals and then they, the, in the 70s crime was out of control and then everybody wanted fascist cops. All the movies are a fantasy about a cop who doesn't Yeah, yeah, he's rights. done. He's done Dirty taking Harry doesn't have time. Yeah, he doesn't have time to fucking. He's no malarkey, dude. Your constitution, all day. he'll blow you away, punk. And <laughs> and, and that wasn't just because cops are bad. That everyone wanted that because there was crime out of fucking control. So so what do you think? Like, these idiots. Anybody that's like burn anything down, they know what they're doing. They they're trying to just destroy everything. But 
that's going to lead to, if you're afraid of fascism, get ready for a big healthy dose of the most fascism you ever saw. Not, and not even fascism, people are going to be upset. They're going to be asking for it because the, nobody wants their shit burned down by some fucking punk from Portland. Okay. Like, yeah. like they like shoot them in the head. That's what I'd like to see. That's what people are going to say. They're saying it now. And I bet you that guy that they just got, uh, you know, the one that you look like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I bet you he, he gets a pardon from Trump directly. Ah, uh, well, okay, can't. Wait, hold on. There's put, no put, way. Put up, uh, put up the picture. Well, well, put up the picture of, uh, so this, this is why I say yes way. So this is on <sighs> CNN. I mean, this is a meme that they made. I don't know why this guy's dressed like he's in Fortnite. Because he's in Fortnite? I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, he is because in Fortnite. Because he's in fucking Fortnite. It's Fortnite. He's in warfare. Yeah. You better build a barricade real fast and have a rifle. You get a good drop. Fiery, but mostly... Now, why do you think it says fiery, but mostly peaceful? Now, this guy, from what I understand, this... He's, he's actually supposedly a good reporter. He's not like a dickhead. So that's not him making this Chiron. Of course. So, but somebody at CNN makes this and put that up. Why would they put something that crazy in front of cars on fire? Why would they write that? I have no idea. Dude. Because it's propaganda. I mean, you know why they write it. Because yeah. they're like, we still want to say it's a peaceful protest. So, so all of the media labors under this and all the people, the Hollywood celebs that fucking, they all think that they create perception. You know, they're influencers and all that shit. They all think that they're people. You're so stupid. And just because you look like a fucking Pennsylvania potato person, that does not mean you're stupid. <laughs> yes, yeah, does Shane yeah. look like a guy with a mouthful of jaw and a head full of alt-right ideas? Of course he does. I'm going to throw a dip in shortly. I'm looking at my my tin sitting over there. Of course. You Under, can't wait to have my a nice cat. dip. My cat's so, laying on my dip. So to answer the question why also why they picked Biden for this very important job, because that's what they think of you. That's why they picked Biden. By it's it's like in Kill Bill when when Bill's talking about how Superman created the character of Clark Kent. Superman, Superman really. Clark Kent is what he thinks of humans. They're weak and bumbling and stupid and they have bad eyesight. That's his I impression of what human beings are. And Joe yeah. Biden is the DNC's impression of what all of you are. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> that don't know shit about shit and they kind of remember Obama and it seemed better when Obama was there. So like, oh, this guy's he'll, he'll keep the Obama train going. Okay, and for a lot of people, they're dead right. There's a lot of people. You just said you didn't fucking know any of that shit. So there's a lot of people that are right. However, yeah. put that picture back up, Bobby, will you? No matter how stupid you are, um, even a stupid person can see through this. Okay, even a stupid person is going, oh, I, I don't think, I think a peaceful protest has no cars on fire at the protest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking throw that out. 